Hello, in this module, we are going to talk about endpoint services. Before I move on to endpoint sources, I need to touch upon a service called AWS Private Link, which is a highly available scalable technology that enables you to privately connect your VPC to support AWS services and services hosted by other AWS accounts. So in turn, you do not need to use an internet gateway, night device, public IP addresses, AWS direct connections, or even AWS site to site VPN connections to communicate with the service. So you can create your own endpoint services provided by AWS private link and enable other AWS customers to access your service. We are talking about VPC endpoints. So the VPC endpoint enables connection between your VPC and support services without requiring to use, of course, an internet gateway, night device, VPN, or even AWS direct connection service, then virtual devices, horizontally scaled, redundant, highly available VPC components. There are two types of endpoints interface endpoints and gateway endpoints. Interface endpoint is an elastic network interface with a private IP that comes from the IP address range from the subnet itself and serves as an entry point for traffic destined to a service. For example, Kinesis here, which is owned by AWS or owned by an AWS customer or even a partner for that matter, you will be billed for hourly usage and data processing charges. What's a gateway in point? So the gateway in point acts as a gateway for a route in your route table for traffic destined to either S3 or DynamoDB. In turn, the gateway endpoint supports two services which are either S3 or DynamoDB at this point in time. Few points related to endpoint services are Endpoint enables users privately connect to the VPC to support AWS services. They do not require a public IP at all. They are virtual devices. Access to the resources in other services can be controlled by endpoint policies and by default endpoint policies allows full access to the services written in JSON format. Some limitations as far as endpoint services are concerned, they support IPv4 traffic only. Most importantly, endpoints are supported within the same region. So you will not be able to create an endpoint between a VPC and a service in a different region altogether. Endpoints cannot transfer an endpoint from one VPC to another or from one service to another. So we are going to demonstrate how gateway endpoints work. For that, I have already set up the basic infrastructure. So I have a VPC and I have given a CIDR range to it. I have created a public subnet and a private subnet. I have launched two instances in each. For all the practical purposes, we will not be able to log into the instance which is in the private subnet. We will have to log in to the instance in the public subnet first. From there, we we'll log into the instance which is in the private subnet and once your VPC endpoint, that's the gateway endpoint has been created. We will then be able to talk about S3 bucket seamlessly. We're not using the internet at all, remember? We are not making use of night gateway at all and most importantly, there is no charge for using gateway endpoints. 
I have logged into my console. Let me just quickly run you through the infrastructure which I have set up. I'll go into the VPC section. The VPC which I have created has been given a CIDR range of from 198.168.0.0/24. I have created two subnets, private and public, the associated route tables for each. Let me just run you through the private route table which has been created. I'll go to the routes. So at this point in time, apart from the local route, there is no other route which has been defined for this route table. I will run you through the instance. I'll go to EC2. I have my two instances running which I have named a public demo which is in the public subnet and a private demo which is in the private subnet. As you can clearly see the instance which is in the public subnet has a public IP address and of course a private IP address and the one which is private does not have a public IPv4 address. So the first thing which I will do is create the endpoint services. I will go into my VPC section, then endpoints. I will create an endpoint here. The name will be S3 endpoint. I will select AWS service and then select S3. So as you can see, this is a gateway service. I will select the VPC, which is my demo VPC. I will need to associate the route table, which will be the private route table. And I'm giving full access to the VPC endpoint policy. Let us go ahead and create it. My S3 endpoint which is the gateway endpoint has been created. It's in the available state. But before that, let us check the route table. Because in my private route table, the entry will have been created by default. I'll go to the routes. And there you see, so a route has been created for the endpoint and has been targeted towards my VPC. Let us go ahead and log into our instances and now check up if our gateway endpoint works. So the gateway endpoint has been created. It is in the available state. We are now going to access our buckets and play around with them using the gateway endpoint services. So I'll make use of my terminal program. I will log into my public instance first. I have already made use of my SSH agent forwarding. Hence, I'm using this command to log into my instance, which is in the public subnet. 192.168.0.88. That's the private IP of my public instance. Let me check if internet connectivity is available. Yes, it is available. Let us go ahead and now log into our instance, which is in the private subnet. For that, I'm going to log in and use the command SSH, the username and the private IP address. So this is the private IP address of the second instance. I am now logged into the instance, which is in the private subnet, of course, not having internet connectivity at all. You see, I do not have an internet connection at all. But the best part is my gateway endpoint has been set up. It is in the available state. So I make use of AWS commands to talk to my S3. First command, AWS S3 LS. So this is the bucket which I had created initially. I will open up one more console page. I will go to the 
S3 and this is the only bucket which I have which is currently in the US East region. I will click on it and let me see the objects inside it. So I have two objects, car1 and car2. Let's check them out. The command is AWS S3 LS. I now need to specify the bucket name, colon, front slash and bucket name. First bucket hyphen Raj hyphen 2022. There you go. I am now able to access and work upon S3 using the gateway endpoint which has been set up and I am not paying anything for this particular service. Thank you. For more details check the link in the description. Learn with Witslabs. Success Certified